Daddy D, if it ain't going down at the Bunny Ranch, it ain't going down at all. It's going down, going down. Welcome back to the Bunny Ranch Podcast. I'm James. And today, we have the starlet of the year for last year, for 2022, Kiki mm-hmm. Lover. Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm great. Good. The fabulous time at Sagebrush. I know. Beautiful dress right there. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. And it sparkles, like- too, when the light hits it. So it's really like... Like eye catcher, right? Your mm-hmm. eyes just instantly turn towards it. So that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. So I love wearing it. Now mm-hmm. what's what's been new? So last year, you know, we sat and chatted um right before the season ended. So back October, November, probably October ish, maybe September. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of got to know you. And if you haven't seen that episode, make sure you guys do check that episode out. Um what exactly is new? I mean, you just went on a big out date, right? Yes, I did. I'm having a blast here. We're uh, having a lot of snow and we're doing a lot of activities, snow activities. If you want to come and take me out and do something fun. Like what kind of snow? Acti- like what did you do on it, though? Like what, what kind of snow activities? you Because the snow's still technically here. Yes, yeah, especially really melting, like but you never know. Mm-hmm. Every day, every week, we have a damn snowstorm, it seems. So, right. but what, what did you do on that? We went snowmobiling. Snowmobiling. Okay. <laughs> However you say it. <laughs> um, it was really fun. Uh, we got a little snowmobile, and we was going around. And um, There's way more snow in Lake Tahoe than down here. Um, it's beautiful, nice trees. And yeah. The air felt very fresh, too. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, There's another one that I really want to do, which is snowshoeing. It's basically a hike with shoes on. Yeah, but um, you have those like like uh, tennis racket looking things that go on your feet, right? Yep, yep, yep. And I found a company that's like, uh, there's a couple of them, but most is on the California side. But there's one in Nevada side mm-hmm. that you have to book ahead of time and usually earlier in the day, <laughs> which is I would have to wake up for it, but I want to go do that. I mean, if it was a lot of fun, I mean, mm-hmm. that still would be something worth waking up that early. Yeah, and Plus, it's two I mean, hours long. Yeah, so I mean, if someone came in and wanted to do an out date, and maybe they, you know, stayed overnight, and then you guys wake up early and then go snowshoeing, or vice versa, you wake up early, mm-hmm. head out to go snowshoeing in the morning, maybe have a little breakfast, maybe have a good brunch. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, spend the day. That'd be kind of a cool thing. It sounds lovely. Yeah. What yeah. What is an out date exactly? Like, what, like, so for some people who might not have been paying attention in previous episodes or don't know what we do, what, what, what is an out date? So, in Northern Nevada, we're allowed to go out and do something out, outside. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, oh out God. date. We're allowed outside, right? Oh my God, um, allowed outside. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can book. We don't have to stay just a sage rush. We can go do whatever you want, something that we both would like. Um, and yeah, that's an out date. Okay. Um, I mean, so clients can come in and they can, because. No matter what uh, state law, they have to be physically here to book anything like that. Yes, yes, they you do. Come in, they meet up with you, they talk a little bit of business, figure out what you're going to do and how mm-hmm. long you're going to be gone, and then they book it through the uh, the office, and mm-hmm. they get to spend what a couple hours or a day, depending on how. Oh, you can even go to Las Vegas. I know some yeah. girls have done that. I haven't, but anywhere in the state of Nevada. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, there's a lot of places we can go to and. It's even more funner when you get to know the person. I feel like when you're doing something, you're you know, getting to know each other. And yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I mean, that gives you a better connection all around. Like if you have um, really that. that True girlfriend that, experience. Yeah. Really. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're getting Come find out my true girlfriend experience. <laughs> so with that uh, snowmobiling, though, like, you were, you were on it. You were riding it, right? You mm -hmm. rode it by yourself? Yeah, we got two of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Like, have you ever done, you've very, ever done that before? No, I hadn't. Okay. Uh, it's very vibrating. <laughs> It felt nice. <laughs> uh, it does shake. Um, at first, I was like, oh, my God. I'm not, you know, I kind of scared to go too fast. Yeah. But a couple of minutes in, I was like, <laughs> running. <laughs> um, yeah, like, you had a few pictures that I, you showed me the other uh, last week. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. It was. I'm going to still have to post them on Twitter. Yeah. Check out my Twitter for the little video. Yeah, make sure you check out the Twitter message board. Probably be a good place. Mm -hmm. Some stuff will be there. You know, just having a lot of fun, enjoying your that experience. Because mm -hmm. that, honestly, that sounds like a great date idea. I might have to write that down. Might yeah. Do that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, now, when it comes to like that date, um, what like that client you've never met before, right? No. Okay, so he was someone brand new. Tell me about that experience because, you know, for people who've never been here or people who are thinking about coming here, what, what would be that experience when they first come here and, like, that first timer thing? Mm -hmm. So the thing about me, I like to get to know the person before the date. So we had, like, what they, like, a month I think before um, so when you do put a deposit down you get to have my personal phone number and we can text we can chat you can call me anytime <laughs> before the date and just um, yeah so first time you email me you get my phone number we can chat and figure out what you want to do what kind of experience you want to have with me and we'll go from there Okay. Mm -hmm. So that'd be good. Yeah, I mean, you guys, if you do want to go and talk to that, talk to her, make sure you guys go on to Sagebrush's website. You can go right there. You can click it, email right away, and you can get a hold of her. Yep. And you can figure out that kind of perfect experience, right? The, mm -hmm. I mean, because snowmobiling is a very unique thing for the wintertime, which mm -hmm. summer we have some really cool stuff, too. Um, yes, we do. Yeah. I love going up to Lake Tahoe in the summertime. Oh, it's yeah. really nice. Um, the lake is so pretty. The water might be a little bit cold. <laughs> yeah, year round, that, that water is like, freezing. <laughs> why is it 80 degrees and the water is cold? But yeah, the water is like 20 degrees. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Have you done, um, have you gone on the uh, MS Dixie 2, the little boat that goes out in the, the yes. big giant steamboat? Yes, but it wasn't a date. It was it was one of the girls. Okay. So a friend, <laughs> took, a friend, yeah. a friend, like, friend date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I took her up there and it was really pretty. The boat takes you from the Nevada side all the way to California side. I think it was like around an hour, right? Oh, okay. I've never actually gone on that one, so I don't know. Because mm -hmm. I know and they have like the dinner cruise, they have the, the lunch cruise. Yes. So. And um, the dinner option was like steak or salmon, whatever. You, you can choose whatever and it comes as a thing. Okay. It's a package. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I've never actually, all the years I've lived in Nevada, I've probably, I've never actually gone on that one. Hmm. Are you sure go? Yeah. I go with you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I volunteer. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and um, it's up to us to decide afterwards where you would like to have fun. We can get a hotel together in Nevada side, or we can come back here. Yeah, exactly. Because anywhere in Nevada, we can go. So, yeah. and you can definitely come back here because she does have a beautifully designed room. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of pink accents. It's really actually cute. Thank you. So, Thank you. Um, or else we have our bigger suites and things like that. So, which has the, options. yeah, I like the VIP room because I like using the tub, the jet tub. Yep. It's really nice. Very relaxing. There's also like a massage table in there. I'm really good at giving massages. No. Oh. Good enough. <laughs> I'm not professional, but, <laughs> but good I give good massages. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we can, I can give you a massage. There's like a stage um, area. We can dance. Um, yeah, and then it's uh, the biggest bed in in the house. It's very sure. comfortable. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a regular king size bed in that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which is nice because I have a cow king at my house and. 
for, for, personally, I wish I had a king because for one, you can fit more things on it, like actually sheets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But also, you can fit a lot of girls on there. <laughs> exactly. That would be fun too. Yeah. So you do multi-girl parties then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. I like them. I got my favorite girls. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. Because you got to have the, just like any work environment, you have to have someone who you vibe with and connect with and enjoy, right? And have some chemistry with. Yeah. Because I would like it to be, you know, um, great for everybody. Exa- yeah, because, I mean, you want to, whatever the client's expecting, you want to give them a good experience. Mm-hmm. You really want people that you can really connect with. Yes, of course. You know, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I haven't been in multi-girl party. I've oh, done like uh, two, girl. two girls, three girls I've done, but like six and up, <laughs> more than three. I haven't experienced that. Hmm. It sounds really fun. Yeah, that kind of sounds like a lot of... A lot going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah. And you'll enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> it's true. I've mm-hmm. a lot of people around there. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it's really cool that the uh, ranches, there's so many things for you to experience that you probably couldn't get, you know, outside. Yeah, and I mean, with eventually winter ending, hopefully soon, um, we're going to get all this melted off. We'll bring out our limos again, so we'll have our limo services available. Mm. So that way when you can go on your out date, yeah. take a limo up to dinner, maybe even Hell's Kitchen. I've heard oh. it's really good at... Um, it's Harvey's, I want to say. It's one of the Tahoe resorts. I think it's Harvey's up there. Oh, is that where it is? Um, and they have a Hell's Kitchen up there. It's supposed to be really good. I've never been to that one. It's mm-hmm. I just know like the food's really expensive, but everyone's always <laughs> said it's really good. So it's that, worth the experience. The- yeah. I mean, that'd be a really cool date idea. Or mm-hmm. even like the summer concerts that they have up in Tahoe, getting a limo to drop you off. Be the center of attention. You have her on your arm, arm candy. That'd be... Mm. And you get to enjoy a beautiful, like, there's tons of different concerts, rock, EDM, country, everything based on what you and um, the client would discuss. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that sounds really amazing. Time. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. So many ideas, so many things to be done, to, so much fun to be had. <laughs> exactly. You just got to initiate and bring yourself over here. <laughs> so, And you do have a lot of return clients, a lot of clients that do... Because, I mean, obviously, if you got started the year, you couldn't have just done it with one, at, like, any, like, just one-time party. It has to be, you know, a good amount of returns. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, you get reviews all the time. We've seen the message boards. Yeah. At least I have. Um, if you have home, if you don't know what it is, the links are all down there. You just go to bunnyranch.com, and then you click form. You can find mm-hmm. it there. Or even sagebrush.com, and you go to their uh, message board section. It goes to the same place. Oh, yeah. So it's all the Bunny Ranch system. The guy I just did the update with, he wrote me in a very nice review the other yeah. day. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I was like, oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Um, so I have, like, my little profile, and if you click on Kiki's experiences or whatever, you have all the reviews throughout the years I've been here. You can look through all of them. Yeah, and you can get an idea, you know, um, but it also, you know, it means a lot of clients really, you built that trust and that relationship, that vibe. And connection, you know, yeah. And connection. It's very important to me. I like, be, you know, uh, having it more of a, not a relationship per se, but kind of a relationship. Um, so kind of like a brothel girlfriend kind of experience, right? Where they can come yeah, in. Yeah, I like that. Kind of brothel like, girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it, it removes all the awkwardness where, you know. Mm-hmm. Everyone else, they can come in and kind of revitalize themselves and like, and they can still talk to you because obviously if they've done like a huge, a big enough party and they have your number and everything, yeah, there's, you know, that connection, that experience yeah. and you can always come in and visit Tell like me while she's on shift, well, which you only mm-hmm. take like one vacation every six months or so. Yeah. I get Something two like months that. off a year. There you go. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I remember you take a long time and. That way you can digress and enjoy and yeah. go on vacation and see things. Yeah, I really want to go to Japan. Yeah, that's what you're My coming up vacation in June, I really would love to, but I'm so scared because I don't speak the language. And I'm like, what about if I get, not kidnapped, but <laughs> well, I mean, lost. Japan, a lot of, the, a lot of um, people in Japan, you know, they have this pretty English speaking areas too. Really? And I mean, obviously they're going to know you're on vacation, you're tourists, just like going anywhere. 
you don't speak the language, there's going to be mm-hmm. some. And I mean, you can always start now trying to learn it. Yeah, when I went to like Paris, I wasn't too worried about it because I like kind of speak um, not fluently friend, in French, but speak enough to get myself, you know, things and stuff. Okay. Um, but you yeah, really. A little really bit of it now. Bonjour, comment ça va? <laughs> ça va bien, Je... merci. Ooh, okay, Mr. James. Je suis Marocain. Et parce que, si, si ça, parce que je suis Marocain, je parle un petit peu de français. But my first language is Arabic. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, multi-talented, multi-lingual. There yeah. you go. I mean. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. But my favorite language is English. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's understandable. With an accent. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful accent still because it's like a Moroccan accent is what you told me originally or. Mm-hmm. Arabic accent. Arabic. Yeah. Okay. I get complimented on it. I haven't uh, lost the accent, even though I came to the U.S. when I was like 12 years old. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I just had my birthday last week. 28 years old. Woo! Right? Two years. Thank you. <laughs> that was a lot. Exactly. <laughs> Two years from 30. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, Excited. humans are leaving, uh, living longer these days now anyways. I mean, you could be on this planet till you're like 150 now. That seems like a exhausting. It could be. But <laughs> that I mean, sounds exhausting. You know, by the time you even get like older, mm. eventually science will get to a point where we could start revitalizing getting better. They are I mean, humans are already already living longer anyways. Oh my god, did you see the UFO thingy? Oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, three of them shot down plus the the Chinese balloon. But mm-hmm. um, you have all the other things that we don't really know what they are yet. That's true. I kinda want it to be aliens. I you know both are terrifying, whether it's another country sending whatever it is in that we don't understand yet, mm-hmm. that they can get this far into the U.S. and then one missile completely misses it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what you were telling me. Yeah. I mean, I could just imagine, you know, being, you know, maybe out the Great Lakes area and then all of a sudden, hey, honey, we got a missile in our backyard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> It'd be uh, scary, but it, it, it most likely, they said it was in the water, most likely. So Is it? Is that where it's at? Yeah. Yeah, I would uh, like to. But I mean, an alien. you know, if, if it is aliens, though, mm-hmm. that could be more terrifying because are these just like seeing who we are, you know? And why are they finally just interacting with us? Why had then they do it before? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, they're just studying probably. I mean, a few years ago, uh, what was it in 2020? Actually, the White House did admit, though well, the Pentagon admitted there are things out there that we don't ex- don't understand. We can't catch them with our crazy. technology. Mm-hmm. So it's gotten a little out of there. It is. So, Comment below. What are, What is your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you believe in aliens? Let us know. <laughs> I, I mean, want to hey, know. Aliens, you know, if you have money. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you right? come hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's party it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, so much to show them too. True. Be I like, mean, come to Sage Ranch. <laughs> Advertise to the aliens. <laughs> I think you could be the oh, official funny. ambassador of the. <laughs> that's so funny. The oh. sex ambassador. Ooh. Or, yeah, sex ambassadors. I like that word. Sexador. No, that kind of sounds like a dinosaur thing. <laughs> you trying to come up with a word for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Never know. Cute. Something like that. Mm-hmm. So what else? What else you got? Like the girlfriend, the brothel girlfriend idea is a cool idea, right? Mm-hmm. And come in, hang out. You know what? Like, what would clients really expect? Like, what, not, not like, you can't obviously read their minds, but mm-hmm. like, what would you kind of think, you know, if they walked in the door and they hadn't seen you in, you know, a month or six months, right? Because, I mean, some of your clients come every so often. Some clients come all the time. Giggity. Yeah. Um, but, you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> come all the time. <laughs> I mean, they probably do. Most likely they do. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, had to be nice people. It's the place for that. Exactly. But um, what exactly would you kind of give that uh, idea of what would be that experience? You're going to get the biggest hug and the biggest kiss. And I'm going to ask, how you been? (laughs) And we're going to go back to my room. Okay. Yeah. And we can do it again and again and again. However many times you like. Yeah, maybe even have dinner too. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, next month. Uh, so this month, obviously, the end of Valentine's Day was last week. It was. Oh, I didn't have a ago. Valentine this year. It was my day off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you were on Valentine, relaxing, enjoying your day. Yep. I was um, watching Netflix. <laughs> That's what mm-hmm. I did for my Valentine anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> we were watching Netflix and relaxing. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, Valentine's Day was la- like a few days ago. So next month, uh, March, uh, I want to say the 14th-ish. Um, oh, yeah. It's not, not the brothel crawl. That's the 18th oh. is what we're doing there. So if you guys don't know, we're doing the brothel crawl. All the information is on all of our Twitters, our Facebooks. Uh, and I still don't have a board. date for that either. Oh, yeah. I would love somebody to come do the crawl with me. It starts at like Bunny Ranch. Yeah, it starts at Bunny Ranch um, at, I think I did it at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Um, you'll see me decked out in all different um, leprechaun and stuff gear, like all different, uh, more green than really leprechaun. It's just all design <laughs> outfits. Oh, yeah. You already uh, have an outfit? Uh, Costume? It'll be similar, similar to last year, except for a mm-hmm. minor touch. I mean, I might actually. Redo my makeup again this year. Last year I didn't do it because we just reopened. Mm-hmm. But when we did close, like I had Ooh. all like, but I was cleanly shaved and I had full like mm. uh, makeup and everything. It took hours to did do it? that stuff. <laughs> yeah, because I was Green prepping eyeshadow. Things. Yep, mm. eyeshadow, blushes. There was full designs across my eyes, different mm. things like that. So, um, yeah. I mean, we. Mm. By the time we got to Sagebrush, it was tiring because we'd went through all the ranches and Sagebrush always ends it for us. So that way we can always enjoy the last final party. Yeah. Sagebrush honestly throws really great parties. Yeah, so. and we have the biggest uh, uh, parlor, the biggest mm-hmm. bar too. Mm-hmm. We do. Uh, and a pool table and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, but what I was going to though is, I think March 14th, I want to say, mm-hmm. it's Steak and Blowjob Day. Oh, so that's it's a the, holiday. That's a it's nice the holiday. Male masculinity version of Valentine's Day, where the female does um, takes care of the male, right? Yeah, so I can cook you a steak. Yeah, exactly. That I can cook, or go out and get a steak, <laughs> or go get some steak. Um, but that'd be a fun, like you know, that'd be a good thing to have a good date for. If you uh, stay here, you get the steak and the BJ at the oh, same time. If you'd that, like, yeah, you can even order. We can even right. Grubhub or something uh, steaks, or even cook it time. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. there's that and then the brothel crawl. So those are some good things that you could come visit and come, you know, really have some fun with Kiki right here. Because mm-hmm. honestly, a steak and a blowjob, that would be great. Or st- YouTube, please don't get angry because <laughs> I said this. Um, but Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all you guys. Love you guys. YouTube, please don't get angry. <laughs> <laughs> they always do, huh? Oh, I know. Every mm-hmm. time. Um, but yeah, the brothel crawl is going to be a lot of fun though. So, um, we're going to start at Bunny Ranch. I believe it's a six to eight, then eight to 10. Yeah. Six to eight is a Bunny Ranch. Eight to 10 will be at Kit Kat Ranch. Mm -hmm. And then 10 to midnight will be Sagebrush Ranch. So finishing it up. Mm -hmm. And we figured it was the best way because Sage is going to have usually the most amount of food. Bunny will have the most like kind of kick off like hors d'oeuvres and good this stuff. Yeah. Sage will usually do a lot more of the desserts and cool like good snacks and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just depends on what you girls do. Mm-hmm. And the so. fun game last year was the the throwing. What is it called? I don't know, but it was like a little thingy and you throw a little thingy, a sand, <laughs> a sandbag. Cornhole. Thingy. Oh, yeah? Is yeah, that what it's called? Yeah, it's the box and then you have to make it in the little hole. It was sandbag, really right? fun. You like try to yeah. get it in there. Yeah, you guys can do that again. Um, I don't really know what you guys are planning yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I just know, like, we're already getting the decorations ready. And we'll, I think starting next week, we're going to start uh, fully getting everything planned from our end. Yeah. So, yeah, but, so I would love a day for that. Me yeah. Too. I mean, definitely email her. Her email's pretty much below her, pretty much most of the show, and also in the descriptions. Mm-hmm. So definitely make sure you reach out to her. Mm-hmm. But Kiki, what... um. Give us some really good words of advice for people who are thinking about coming here for the first time. If they're like, they just walk in, like they haven't emailed you. Obviously, guys, if you really are thinking about it, go on our websites. Yeah. Look at all the girls. Talk to some of the girls that you want to talk with. Make sure they're here. You want to make sure you check their schedules or talk to them. And 
some of them might be going away for like a week or two weeks or yeah. a month because they, you know, they there's girls that tour. People are on tour and people are mm-hmm. going on vacations. But yeah. I'm I'm full time. I'm yeah. here all the time, basically. Yeah. Well, exactly. But I mean, if you're on vacation and they wanted to come here, mm-hmm. you could be in Japan. Right. Yeah. I'm off so, June. <laughs> exactly. So, but um, like they walk up to that front door. What are they experiencing when they get to that door? Like, because sagebrush is a little different than the other ranches. Yeah. You know, just get to chat and talk and show you a great time. I have new pictures coming out next week. I'm doing a photo shoot on the 13th. So if you you check out the website, you're going to see my new pictures. Very nice. And it's going to be a really fun idea. I'm doing like lingerie with like a coat outside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With like yeah. snow in the background, um, um, I forgot where it's what it the area called, but it's like past Reno, really pretty views. So don't miss it. Okay, that'll be really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you said that'll be all next month too, like right before the brothel crawl, then. Mm-hmm. That'll next be good. week. Yeah, or next week you said next mm-hmm. week. Okay, sorry. Yeah, next week I'm doing it. Oh, that'll be really fun. So mm-hmm. then, yeah, you definitely looking forward to it and. See it because her pictures always are fire because she always makes sure that her pictures are always good. Aww, thank you. Um, so sweet of you to say. Of course. <laughs> I mean, I only I will tell people my I, my job. It's all about honesty, right? Mm-hmm. So if, if something and doesn't I look would... good, I need to at least make sure the girl understands. Hey, maybe maybe yeah. not not face that direction again, or yeah. you know, look how you're sitting. Like there's like little <laughs> things like that over the years people learn, but sometimes. Mm-hmm. People don't know yet. Yep. And I made the new video with you. That yep. came out really good, too. Oh, yeah. The, um, we did that uh, a few months ago at the Pepper Mill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, oh, my goodness. She's sexy. Who is she? <laughs> uh, I think red is pretty color on yeah. videos. Oh, yeah. It's a very vibrant color, and it grabbed the attention. It sure does, yeah. It's so. love. It's the love color. True. For a reason. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yep. So thank you again, Kiki, for giving your time up to come out here and chat with the audience. And guys, if you do have any questions, make sure you do email her. Um, Or if you have any questions in general you want to know from uh, the different courtesans here at Bunny Ranch, Sagebrush Ranch, and Kit Kat Ranch, make sure you email them or put them in the comments, and then we can definitely do that. Please be respectful. (laughs) Understand that, guys. That is the number one rule when coming to any brothel or even contacting us. Be respectful. Like, because there are some people out there, yeah, I've read some of these comments and obviously they don't end up on the video sometimes Mm-mm. Um, or even emails that people get. Yeah. Just be respectful, don't guys. Understand me. that they are Nasty humans. Email. They're courtesans. They're, we are legal in what we do as far as that goes because it's the state of Nevada. So but thank you again so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. And thank you guys for all listening here. Make sure you guys do tune in. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and all the rest. Make sure you guys go on there and go to BunnyRanch.com, SageBushRanch.com, and KitKatRanch.com, or follow us on Twitter. All those links are down below. There's a lot more links to that, so I'm not (laughs) going to keep going over that. So, But thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next. I'm James. And I'm Kiki. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye.